Traders War Room wants to thank you, the viewer, for coming along with us on this journey. Please check out the description tab as it has an overview of content on the channel and some links for resources and online brokerage. Thank you. What is up team? Chuck with Traders War Room and I'm back at you with another video. Listen, this week is done. It's over. It's in the books, okay? It's time to enjoy the weekend. It's time to have a good time and, you know, take a little break from the market, okay? This week has been a bloodbath. A lot of us are down, but you know what happens when you're down? You learn a lot more and you reinforce your positions, okay? And I think a lot of us learn a lot of great knowledge to better position ourselves in the future and what to look for, okay? So we're gonna talk about things for next week. We're gonna talk about questions. We're gonna answer some questions. And I got a great video for you. Check the description. There's a lot of links with good information in there so that you can do your due diligence on a weekend and learn some things. And listen, like, share, subscribe, join the team, join the community, be part of us, okay? You are welcome to join and we want you in our group. Now, as always, if you're ready, Follow me, let's go to war. Traders War Room wants to remind everyone that all content on this channel is for entertainment and education purposes only. We are not financial advisors or consultants and everyone is responsible for their own decisions and their own actions with the stock market. Welcome back team. Listen, if you're new to the team and the community, I wanna thank you for joining us, okay? You will truly learn a lot from this group, okay? We're engaging, we're genuine, and we're not out here pumping and dumping stocks, okay? We're truly trying to learn together and grow our knowledge of the stock market and our portfolio together. And the ultimate goal is to be better today than we were yesterday, okay? So hit us up on Facebook, the YouTube channel, Discord, Twitter, all of those avenues and be engaging, all right? Now listen, I'm gonna start off with the aftermarket review, so check it out. All right, so let's take a look at the Dow and how it performed this week. As you see, Thursday and Friday, it was pretty rough, and then it started to rally back towards the end of the week. Now, I want to give a little substance on what the Dow is, okay? The Dow is the oldest stock market index, okay? And it measures blue chip companies, 30 of the top, blue chip companies sold in the US and this tells us how stocks and the market are reacting okay so that's important now that's a real basic term but that's the gist of it right there so the Dow is the 30 largest companies in the United States and it gives us a good indication on how the industrial sectors are doing here's the Nasdaq and as you see after about Tuesday, this thing just started going down, 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 and didn't really recover too much. It started to come up towards Friday, but it didn't recover as much as it went down. And this is 2,500 plus common equities stocks, and it's comprised of American Depository Receipt, Common Stocks, Real Estate, Investment Trust, Tracking Stocks, and 50% of the NASDAQ is the tech stocks that we love so much and those growth stocks, okay? So important to know those information. This is the S&P, and this is the performance on 500 of the largest companies in the U.S. across all 11 sectors that are publicly traded, okay? Now listen, important thing about this is this is a float weight index, which means market cap is adjusted by the number of shares publicly traded, okay? And just like the NASDAQ, it kind of followed the same thing. You saw that it was up on Monday and Tuesday, and then by Wednesday, it just started going down and really didn't recover until Friday, it kind of came back, but not to the level that it decreased, okay? So these are important things to know as we go into the market on Monday. Full transparency, I wanna show you my account. Look, on the week, I'm down almost 16% over $1,000, okay? So I'm struggling just like everyone else, but I started to recover a little bit towards the end of Friday. This is how my account looked on the daily. You saw it took a big dip. That was about after the nine o'clock sell-off and then it started recovering towards the afternoon. So hopefully Monday will be promising, but you know, we'll recon and survey and we'll have to take a look and see where we can attack for the best opportunity. So I hope you kind of understand what the market is and the indexes, the major ones that we look for, okay? And you know, those are important to know to further your knowledge and understanding what you're really 
doing when you get into the marketplace, okay? Next segment up is questions from the front line, and we're going to start off with Bill. Check it out. Questions from the front lines. You ask the questions, we give you the best answers that we can provide you and give you some resources so that you can dive a little deeper into some DD. Question from Bill. What's up, Traders War Room? How does inflation affect the market? Billy. Bill, what a great question. Okay, inflation, yes. So listen, I'm going to give you a, a book definition here in just a second, but really, inflation just gives a negative sentiment to investors because inflation is going to make it harder to borrow money, harder to buy goods, more expensive to buy goods. A lot of things that are just dealing with money specific and making people want to kind of tuck away their nest egg, tuck away their money and just kind of wait it out. All right. So, but I'm going to give you a book answer so that you truly understand what it is and then check the description because I got some resources on it as well. All right. But Hey, good question. Everyone needs to learn about this. This is what inflation does to the market. Take a second, look at it, and then in the description is the link so you can do some more DD on it. All right, the next question is from Tanya, so check it out. Question from Tanya. Chuck, that CCL call was killing it earlier in the week, but the, then the market tanked, so did the profits. New to options and still learning. When should I have sold? Listen, I'm going to talk about that here in just a second, but I'm also going to show you with a graph on where the opportune time was to sell and where I sold for profit. Tanya, what a great question. Listen, options are tricky, and I enjoy doing options. I don't get them right all the time. I have some pretty good success rate though, but I'm going to show you the option and it's better just on pictures so we can kind of walk through it to kind of give you an idea of where you probably should have sold instead of hanging on. But the one thing I do like about options is, listen, you only lose what you put in, okay? So it is a gamble, but it's a measured gamble. The reward on call options specifically is the sky's the limit, but you can only lose your initial investment. And so it's a gamble that sometimes I'm willing to take and Hopefully it pays off, but let's go ahead and take a look at uh, at CCL and see where the opportune time to sell would have came from the alert that we gave on the channel. So real quick, the blue arrow is when I alerted that the option play was a go, all right? The green arrow is where I sold, okay? Now listen, the red arrow is where it started to fail with the market as a whole, okay? That would have been the opportune time to sell when you started seeing the whole market rolling off that would have been the time that you would want to sell i sold at the green arrow because this was a quick money play for me and it expired at the end of the week and i wanted to lock in profits i left one contract to roll and gamble with just to see if i could get some more profit out of it but in the end that one contract that i left expired worthless because it never recovered so for the segment on fire guard thoughts I want you guys to think about stocks associated with reopening the country, okay? Vaccines are going out. People are bottled up. They're feeling like they need to get out. And when it's safe to get out and people are out there doing things that they haven't been able to do for a while, what are some of the industries that will take advantage of? I'm thinking airlines, leisurely activities, holidays, shopping, things of this nature, okay? So... Next, I'm going to give you guys an idea of what cyclical stocks are, and you need to start considering these for positions here in the near future. So right here from the Rev, it says it all right there. These are your reopening stock ideas that will be set to boom, okay? And I want you to check the description because I have a link to this so you can do more DD and dive a little deeper into other industries and other sectors associated with the reopening that might start to plus up in the near future. All right, finally, last but not least, you picked the stock, remember? All right, second week. Check out the stock here in a second from last week that we picked, and I got five more for you guys to pick over this weekend. And on Monday, I'm with the stock that wins. I'm gonna put $100 into the account, and we're gonna let it ride. And then every Friday, we're gonna recap. So check out the stock from last week, and then check out the next stock picks. So this was the viewer's choice from last week. Not doing so hot, down 8%, but we're gonna keep rolling with this. It hasn't hit the 15% loss. That is my tap out for these uh, small caps, and we'll keep this one going and see how it does in the future. All right, guys, these are your next, you pick them stocks to five from different sectors, okay? 
You guys are going to vote. Whichever one wins the most votes, I'm going to buy $100 worth of this on Monday, okay? So get me a good one, and let's go to war. All right, that's it. Done. Finished. All right, this week's a wrap in the books, and we're on to enjoying our weekends, okay? Hey, listen, take a little time. Let your brain unwind, okay? Let your heart rate and your blood pressure simmer down a bit, and just forget about the market, okay? Do a little bit of research. Look up some things that you're going to think about next week, but... You know, don't think about the stock market or how much you lost or anything like that. Listen, Monday's gonna be a new market. Every day is a new market, and you never know what's, what you're gonna get, you know, like Forrest Gump. Life is like a box of chocolates, but so is the market, okay? You don't know what you're gonna get, all right? But one thing that we always wanna practice, and it's our motto in this group, and this is the way we outlook it, okay? The stock market is our war zone. Stocks and sectors, those are our battles. We're attacking, we're destroying, we're conquering. We're also, we add it, we're surveying, and we're reconning, okay? Our area of operation and our battleground. And we do that all together, we do it as a team, and we will succeed, okay? So, as always, if you're ready, follow me, and let's go to war, guys.